trying to make uh, Valley for Rivers into salt satyagraha, one thing to understand is salt satyagraha was against someone. It's a more a protest for whatever the British laws that were there. <clears throat> when someone else creates problems for us, we can fight. But when we are the source of the problem, who are you going to fight? Fighting is not what's needed. Fighting is not what's needed. Protest is not what's needed. Agitation not what's needed. This is on one level an awareness campaign. On another level, it's a push for a policy, an enforceable conduct our soil and our water. In this, the government has to make a policy which will take ten, fifteen years to implement if even if you do it aggressively. We want to reassure the government of India that people of India are today mature enough that if you do something which is long-term well-being of this nation, we will stand with you. We are not somebody who are just waiting for freebies. We are willing to stand with you if you make some long-term policy. That's the fundamental message we want to send. See, the rural… the rural women will have a huge role to play. This is an entire system we worked with, with the micro… what microfinance groups and other things and the self-help groups and all this. In this, women are best always because generally it is a very… Uh, a gentle, careful activity. Women can do it much more easily. You give out a call to all the women in… rural women in one tree, on an average, they're paying some twenty-two rupees or something. Suppose a woman in her backyard raises thousand saplings, it is twenty-two thousand rupees. And there's no input from her side, she will gather the soil from somewhere and uh, she and her children will somehow raise these plants. And above all, there is the joy of raising so many plants. Very easily this can be done, they… you don't have to go and collect, they can bring it. This way women's… the rural women's income See, uh, one problem with Indians is uh, they always want to teach their culture to others, but they want to practice Western culture at home. If we value something, we must live it, isn't it? We don't value it because it's Indian. We value it because there's a science behind it. So, this is one culture which just does not just pop up. This is one culture which was consciously crafted. A lot of exaggerations might have happened, a lot of distortions might have happened. We can remove those distortions. We can adjust it to today's day and age. But the science behind every aspect of life, how to sit, how to stand, how to breathe, how to eat, the science behind this should not be lost. So, there is enormous value to that in India, which first of all we must bring it into our homes and we should see the benefit of it. Only if it's useful, we must talk to others. But right now we are just trying to rub our culture on somebody, it's not going to work. <laughs>